Merry Christmas! Happy dead of winter, everyone. It is seven degrees where I am right now, and that's that's Fahrenheit. That's not Celsius. It's really fucking cold. Uh, and it's the middle of the night. So what better time to record my recommendation roundup for December? Um, but before I get into that, I should probably address something I saw in the comments in my last video and in the comments for some of my uh, Max Landis videos. Um, yes, I am aware of the allegations that have been brought against him. Um, I don't uh, I don't want to get into it right now, but basically, um, while there isn't stuff out about whether or not, like, there, no, no one has come forward and said he, he raped me, um, but, uh, the stories I have heard, pretty bad. Um, he, he sounds like a pretty shitty dude. So, in a week or so, like, really getting into the issues? Um, but yeah, uh, it's really shitty. Um, I don't, I don't like Max Landis anymore. I don't want to just be a Debbie Downer because it's Christmas time. So I want to recommend to you my favorite things from this month. So because of exam season, I didn't watch a whole lot of movies and television, but I did listen to a bunch of music. So I have a bunch of music recommendations. First of all, I have fallen in love with all of Marceline from Adventure Time songs. Um, there is a Marceline cover of another song that I really like, which name is hard for me to pronounce, so I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna link to it in the description and go listen to it, it's really cool. Um, then there's Slow Dance With You, that one's really nice. Um, and I like, oh, uh, Remember Me, um, Right where you left it, that one's really good too. But yeah, just just uh, go go watch my favorite lesbian vampire um, be in love with Princess Bubblegum, and it's great. And I love them. I love both of them. They're like my lesbian OTP, which is really saying something. But anyways, the other two songs I wanted to recommend was um, "Using You" by Mars Argo, uh, which like no one seems to talk about it. It's a really fun song. Uh, I don't really have anything to say about it beyond the fact that it's fun and I love it. And also, Mars Hargo is totally not poppy. What? No, definitely not poppy. Definitely. Nope. Definitely. And I also wanted to recommend Cruel by the Veronicas, which has a really cool music video. Um, just uh, women in leather tying up men. It's nice. It's nice. I just, I liked it. Very good. Very good. Uh, Books-wise, I wanted to recommend um, this book of Sappho's poetry. So I had read some Sappho before I made this channel, um, because otherwise why would I call it Sappho of Lesbos? Um, but it was all in like the Norton Classics edition, and the problem with Sappho is she's a poet, and if you're translating Greek poetry, you have to like still make it poetry, and I think that... Um, what was the translator's name? Huh. Aaron Puchigan uh, does a pretty good job of making it still sound poetic and nice. Um, so this is Sappho Come Close. It is a little black penguin edition, so it's very cheap. I got it for $2 at my local bookstore, um, but you can get it online for about five. Um, and it's really fun little read. Sappho Lesbos, she's, she's really cool. And like, there's, there's good reason that I named my channel after her. She's awesome. Um, TV-wise, I wanted to recommend um, Alias Grace, which is an adaptation of another one of Atwood's works. It's a um, Netflix, I think, everywhere except for, there's some country where it's on local television, but I can't remember which. So I'm sorry if you're from that country, but um, over here in the US, it is on Netflix. It's a Netflix original series. Um, and it is the story of a woman who is in prison for murder, and it's sort of a mystery, and it's also, you know, super feminist because it's Atwood. So it's it's really fun, great period drama. Um, it's an 1840s period drama. Uh, I don't know. Pretty dresses. It's it's great. It's fun. Definitely check it out. Um, 
Okay, so I have been a fan of Runaways ever since I like read it in the comics aisle of a Barnes & Noble when I was gonna say 12. Um, it's, it's a great comic book series and it recently got adapted into a TV series, which is very different than the comics, but I would say still good. Um, so I highly recommend that show. It's on Hulu. It's a Hulu original series, so it's only on Hulu. Um, so, you know, I'm sorry if you don't have a Hulu subscription, but uh, fun fact, you can get it with your Spotify subscription if you're a student, at least in the US, I don't know other places. So, you know, you can get it for pretty much free if you have Spotify. Um, oh, also, if you like Runaways, um, I'm gonna leave a link to the Discord that I'm a part of. It's pretty dead right now, but like more people showing up and talking about Runaways would be great because I keep watching episodes and then having feels and wanting to talk about it with people. I've also been reading a lot of web comics lately, so I want to recommend Shades of A, which is a Shades of Grey reimagining, I guess? I don't know. It has very little to do with Shades of Grey. Um, but it is the story of an asexual man who falls in love with another man who's into BDSM. And it has not safe for work elements, but it's not porny at all. And I think it does a really good job portraying what it's like to be asexual. But I don't know because I'm not asexual. Um, but yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed it. It's a really sweet story. Um, Shades of A, you should check it out. And then on the porny side, the Starfighter or Starfighter? It's, it's called Starfighter. Just, just Google search Starfighter comic. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Um, it's one of those things where like, it has plot, I swear. And it's like sort of hard sci-fi. We're in space and we're fighting bad guys and we're Starfighters and sort of that, that Battlestar Galactica feel. Like if you enjoyed Illuminae, you'll love Starfighter. But fair warning, there is graphic gay sex. Um, like, it's a little bit much, even for me. Um, just, just, just straight up images of assholes getting penetrated, just... It's a little much. Um, but it is really great, and I love it, and I really enjoy the dynamics between the characters. Um, also, it has a lot of, like, bastard boyfriend tropes. So, if you're not into that, you're really not gonna enjoy the comic. Two weird internet things to recommend. The first is a um, philosophical thought experiment. It's a video game. It's just, it's just a fucking video game. Um, I call it the soup game. It probably has some real name that I'm gonna put here. Go play it. It's interesting and weird and surprisingly fun. Um, uh, I, that's all I can say without spoiling it. Go. Go do it, it's weird. The other thing I wanted to recommend was my mom's Twitter. My mother made a Twitter, which is mostly about embarrassing me. So um, go check it out and follow it. And it's really cute. Um, my mother is adorable and I love her and she is my biggest fan. I love you, mom. Because it is the season, I wanted to recommend two Christmas videos before I go. Um, the first is Gigi the Christmas Snake by Chris Fleming and it, it's great. I love it. I love it so much. Um, yeah, all you have to know is that it's called Gigi the Christmas Snake, and it's about Gigi the Christmas Snake, who slithers slow so you don't wake. It's great. Just, just go watch it. The other video I wanted to recommend is Fantastic Holidays and How to Explain Them, which uh, is... I want to say it's a parody of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, but it's not. Um, it's it's a it's a, a video fan fiction of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, where Newt comes and visits the Goldsteins for Christmas and uh, finds out that they're Jewish and doesn't know what a Jewish is, and it's it's some quality Jewish humor. I love it so much. Um, so that's all for now. I'll see you next week, probably. Bye.